In today's video, we will be wandering through Gillums, Newfoundland and Labrador, a small community located on the west coast of Newfoundland, near the Bay of Islands. Known for its rich history in fishing and logging, Gillums offers views and a welcoming atmosphere. Join us as we explore all that it has to offer. This is Wandering with Wilfred. Hello, and welcome back to Wandering with Wilfred. I am your host, Wilfred, and today we will be wandering through Loop 1 of the Heritage Trail, located in Gillums, Newfoundland and Labrador. Gillums, Newfoundland, was once known as the farm. It was settled in the late 1700s with the Blanchard family being the first documented inhabitants. Originally a no man's land due to European conflict between the French and English over fishing rights, settlement was slow, but over time, more families arrived, including settlers from England and indigenous groups. The local economy relied heavily on fisheries, particularly salmon, herring, and lobster, which became crucial industries by the mid-19th century. Timber was also a significant resource, with large forests supplying wood for export. However, Pollution from mills and overfishing led to a decline in these industries. Schools, churches, and civil law arrived only after years of informal leadership. Despite early hardships, Gillums evolved into a small but resilient community eventually benefiting from improved transportation, education, and employment opportunities. If you're liking this video, please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and family. Your support helps me in my journey to embark on more adventures. Creating a personal sanctuary is an empowering way to add peace and mindfulness in your everyday life. This space should reflect your unique personality and preferences, serving as an escape from the hustle and bustle of the outside world. Start by choosing a location that feels comfortable and safe, whether it's a corner of your living room, a spare bedroom, or even a nook in your garden. Prioritize natural light and good air quality, as both can help create a better atmosphere. Add soft furnishings like cushions and blankets, along with calming colors that make you feel good, to create an inviting environment. Once you have established the physical space, think about how to engage your senses. Consider adding elements such as plants, which not only purify the air but also bring a touch of nature indoors. Incorporating soothing scents through candles or other scented objects can bring feelings of tranquility and relaxation.
Sound is another crucial aspect. Gentle music, nature sounds, or even a small water feature can help with your space. These sensory touches create a multi-dimensional experience that encourages you to unwind and reconnect with yourself. If you like the video, please give that like button a little paw tap, subscribe for more four-legged adventures, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a future video. Tail wags and happy trails. Embark on the journey with us. Find our images, pins, and postcards. Own these treasures and join our wander. Let's venture together.